Hey guys, we are here. We are the West African Backpackers. My name is Kofi and she is Ayana. Yeah, so as I said, we will give you back to back to back content. So we do you well. Mm -hmm. So today we want to talk about what are we talking about today? Well, before we get started, mm -hmm. I just want to let you guys know um, if you're new to our channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. Um, we are a couple channel. We're definitely a couple channel because yeah. we started this channel together just, you know, when we first got together and started our relationship we was like let's just kind of record and as we record it was like let's just do it on youtube and kofi came up with the west african backpackers yeah. so here we are we're just documenting our life as a married couple here in ghana okay and if we go to somewhere else we'll document that too so i just wanted to give you guys that um little caveat that you know we are a couple channel we're Couples married general. Yeah. Yeah. And we just talk about our life here in Ghana. Yeah. And wherever else we go. Yeah. We share our travels. And our life yeah. and everything yeah. together. And I just want to point out that my husband, Kofi here, loves the Eagles because he cannot. E A G L E S. Why did he say it? Get away from. Yes, you said yeah. it right. Eagles. He loves his Eagles hat. He cannot wait to go to Philly. Yeah, okay. Can't wait. So he to can watch a, watch a football game, eat a cheesesteak, meet my friends and Philly my family. Yeah, yeah, he can't wait to eat a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. So he's excited about that. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. So today in this video, we are talking about, um, cause somebody, one of our subscribers or viewers, I'm not sure if they're a subscriber, but a viewer subscriber, asked if we could talk about cultural differences. Now, I'm not sure if you're talking about cultural differences amongst us or just me being in Ghana or whatever, but we'll talk about some things that we've talked about and we've noticed um, as an intercultural married couple. He's Ghanaian. I'm from America of African descent, so a Ghanaian and an American, a black American. Um, because the thing about cultural in America is American culture, and then you have black culture and white culture. So it's American culture, and then there's black American culture and white American so culture. Today, okay, the cultural difference you're about to talk about, is it going to be African Ghanaian culture versus black American culture or American culture? So it's going to be Ghanaian versus I think American slash black American. I think some of the point. Oh, yes, exactly. American yeah. slash black American. And I guess we can highlight which is which. Because yeah. sometimes it is like American culture. Like Americans yeah. typically do this. But then sometimes white America does this and then black Americans do that. But also, let's, we want to point out that this is just kind of what we notice. We're not trying to generalize, but just through our experiences and what we experienced and the things that we talked about. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, we, yeah. the first major thing we want to talk about is because something we love to do with is an airplane. As you can yeah. hear, we live near the airport. Um, so the first major thing we want to talk about is like food. You know, food culturally, you know, everybody loves food and no matter what culture. Um, so I think that's been like a cultural difference yeah, for us. Because Go ahead, you explain it. I think, uh, I don't know if you guys, um, if you started following us for more than a year ago, some of our early videos, we used to say that all that we fight about is food. So, <laughs> you know, I don't know about other, I think it's, it's not me, it's more like Ghana because Ghana sometimes early in the morning, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., and somebody will be eating wachi banku rice ball emuto and those kind of food so sometimes i wake up in the morning and she will ask me oh what i want to eat and i said i want to eat watch it and she will be mad that watching in the morning i'm like what not that we don't have breakfast food of course like we have the porridge we have the local porridge that is our and um we have the other one we call the mpampa coco and i think we have those kind of local beverages by you know that like plan like breakfast lunch dinner it's not really a, a Ghanaian thing, thing. and aside that too yeah. like um 
sometimes you go to the restaurant and that three meal calls there how do you start the starter the distant man yeah. <laughs> ghana when we serve our meal when you go to the there's local no restaurant, like appetizer if you are no buying main food, you're course just buying for food. Yeah. no dessert yeah they don't do yeah, that yeah it's not yeah. that because of let's say a little bit gentrification in a way sometimes they try to serve uh like when you go to what do you call it when you go to wedding or events they try to serve the asana or yeah, the different, different courses different, yeah, yeah but we don't that thing is not really a culture thing in ghana yet so sometimes we used to have a little argue about what we will eat i'll be like i'll eat watch it she get mad that no let's do the fruit let's do fruit in the morning or let's do like coffee or tea and i'm like okay i'll do it but as a Ghanaian man or as an Asante man, I even eat bunku in the morning, 7, 8 a.m. It might, I, maybe it might not be healthy, but. Yeah, it's not about it yeah. being healthy. It's just that in America, like for breakfast, we might mm. eat bacon, eggs, and, um, yeah. you know, so, bacon, mm -hmm. eggs, or bacon and eggs, a bacon and egg sandwich, yeah, right? Yeah. Even though that's health, health uh, it's, what am I saying? Not healthy. Even though it's heavy, it's still like a breakfast food. But for me as an American, I would think something washy would be like lunch or dinner, like just yeah. because of the staples. But even though I know all other cultures outside of American, they, yeah. just talk, talk, they, they um, eat rice a lot for breakfast. So Americans typically don't eat rice for breakfast so mm. that's kind of it yeah. um and i think the next point or did you want to finish oh, that point because yeah and i also want to say that <laughs> ghana we have uh we have food like the porridge we use it as breakfast as well but what i'm trying to say is that we haven't even labeled it as breakfast should be light food it's not yeah, really no. labeled yeah you yeah, said so. that but that's what i'm saying i'm just trying to make the distinct yeah. difference that you guys eat anything y'all don't label it but for yeah. us if we go for breakfast we kind of know pancakes Oh, we know specific things are for breakfast. Yeah. That's the so that's the cultural difference. That's the kind of things. I'm like, I don't yeah. want to eat Wachi or Banku seven o'clock in the morning. Um, and I think another thing that's kind of related to food is like the cooking. Like who does the cooking? Oh. So I think this one we'll talk about like American versus Ghanaian. So here in Ghana, the women they do all of the cooking. Like they pay on the food food, they cook, 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 cook. Yeah. Right? And typically, yes, in American families, typically, yes, the women do the cooking. However, from what I've grown up and the things that I've seen in America, it's like whoever is the best cook. I've seen like friends and uncles who the uncle might cook the best, so he makes all the meals. So, or your uncle might be on the grill at the cookout, grilling all the food, and the women might be making certain dishes. Um, but typically, yes, in America, women, ultimately cook but we also men do a lot of cooking as well like overall cooking so in america sometimes it depends like who is the best cook whereas ghana is typically the women doing most yeah. of the cooking right I think almost typically the women I'm, i mean i can cook but when i'm in the house when i visit the house in kumase my sister Oh, all right so we just don't want this it's just for like this video is long i have like add and like we gotta speed it up but um, i hope you appreciate the detailed um video um i think the next one that we kind of contend with the next cultural difference is like the language barrier yes we both speak english ghanaian the ghana official language is english However, it's not the same as American English. Some of the words that they use, you guys are more so related to like British English than American yeah, English. Yeah, we are. We are. Right? Yeah, so are. a lot of their words are like British English and Americans, you know, we done did our own thing with the English language. Yeah. So I think sometimes when we say certain words, it kind of get like, for instance, oh, so I was getting my hair braided. And I was trying to decide, will I get my hair braided or should I just do it myself? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself today. So oh. in America, when I say treat myself, that means, oh, I'm gonna go get somebody else to do it. I'm gonna treat myself to getting my hair money, done, spending money, so I'm it. treating. It's a treat for me to get my hair done. He thought when I said, oh, I'm gonna treat myself, it's like, oh, I'm gonna treat my own hair. Like I'm a do. So the treatment, he thought I was like, he thought the word treatment, like I'm gonna do a yeah. treatment to my hair. So that's just an example. And then he was just like, 
okay, well then good. Like you got enough shampoo. And I'm like, I said I was treating, meaning I'm going to get it done. So something like, so little things like that. And yeah. can we get another example of like the language barrier? Um, um, I'm trying to think of another example. Well, it's a little we we should have written it down, but yeah. it's just certain things that when we say each other, we kind of like have to explain like, a little more. Yeah, for example, this one. Okay, that one is okay though. Like for example, when you are going to, I'm going to bed, meaning she's going to sleep. Like by literally by Ghana, we say that. Oh, I'm going to sleep. Mm -hmm. I I hardly hear a black American saying I'm going to sleep. So something, yeah. Um, I think we're just gonna do one last final um, point. Um, and it's kind of like male roles versus female roles, right? Men versus women and the roles within the household. So for example, um, we'll just use our families, just say, this is like hypothetically. Like, so say if Kofi, mom and dad is in a house and say Kofi's mom works all the time. She come home and cook, right? And just say she take care of the family and the, you know, the dad, he contribute his part, but she kind of leads the family, right? Yeah. She still submits to her husband. Like she still is feminine through the feminine energy. She still does that, right? Yeah. But from my observation, this is what I've observed. I've observed women in Ghana, even if they're the leader of the household, even if they're cooking, taking care of the children, the men still work, but it's like the women are like running the households and the men kind of just sit back. They're still submissive to their husbands. This is from my observation. But in America, what I've noticed sometimes, and again, I was raised by single women, like my aunts, <laughs> my mom, my mom and dad were married, but they were separated majority of my life. Um, but they were married, never got a divorce. Even if the women were like the leaders, they didn't really submit to men that well. So I see that cultural difference. Like, if I see a woman in Ghana doing all this stuff and leading the house and still submitting, I would be like, in America, a woman be like, he better do it himself. I'm not serving him, blah, blah. So that's like the cultural difference. Now, as it relates to our marriage, mm -hmm. you know the, the word 50-50 is a controversial word. Um, in our marriage, I feel like he leads the marriage and the household, but we both contribute. Yeah, you're right. Right? If that mm -hmm. makes sense. It does. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like if we're making big decisions, I leave it to Kofi because I don't, I don't feel like all of that, you know, he kind of does the business. Of course, I put my sense in it. You know, I put my two cents in it, but I feel like Culturally, I'm not sure if we fit in that cultural norm. I feel like for our marriage, we kind of do what's best for us. I don't feel like we yeah. follow a cultural so norm. Ourselves. Yeah, I don't feel like we follow like a cultural norm for that. I feel like we just do what's best for us. Like, yeah, but just the difference in cultures and things that we talked about. Even if he do certain things, he's like, well, in my culture, the men are supposed to do that. And I just let him because thank you because... I didn't want to do that anyway. So that's just a couple of cultural differences. Um, if you have any more cultural differences that we didn't cover, you can just put it in the comment section and let us know. Yeah. Any final words you want to say? Um, what I'll say is that uh, for intercultural marriages or relationship, sometimes the cultural difference counts a lot because for you, the growth depends on the cultural difference. Or how it, well it, it plays you a did. role. I mean, yeah. it plays a role in it. So, if both couples, I mean, if both of you can all try to balance it out and also try to, I mean, like sacrifice for each other's culture, things work out perfectly. Yeah, yeah. and I, I want to just say that I believe in culture. I believe in tradition. However, in a marriage, you kind of create your own thing. So we kind of created our own culture, culture within our marriage. So yeah. even though things may be true for our culture, ultimately, 
right? I don't want to speak for you. We kind of created oh. like our own yeah. thing for our marriage. Yeah. With what's best? What works is best? For us. We just make sure what works for us. Who works for us? No, no. That we respect culture, but there are some things that I mean, if that is gonna be best for us, yeah. we go. Because even it. things in my culture, and I'm like, mm, that's toxic. I'm not bringing that to our marriage. And he does the same way. Like, yeah, that's culture, but this is our marriage, and yeah. I don't want this to happen in our marriage. So yeah. even though it might be cultural differences, yeah. we kind of like think outside of that and yeah. kind of create what works best for yeah. us so we both can be happy and have a yeah. healthy functional relationship because like two different cultures yeah <laughs> so you just gotta figure out yourself some and things are opposite so if you if you go with that we wouldn't yeah have you gotta yet. meet in so the middle we definitely meet in the middle need to but i just want to um sorry i'm gonna cut you off mm -hmm. sorry it's fine i just want to end that I do. I am going to start cooking for my Ghanaian husband. I'm going to start cooking Ghanaian dishes for my, and I'm going to serve him. And he doesn't demand that, but I do want to do that. I want to be a part of like, I feel like he deserves it because he's a good husband. Oh, I feel like he does a lot for our household and our family. So I do want to be that wife, like whatever you like. <laughs> all right guys so thank you for watching this video again if you have any other suggestions of any cultural difference that you may have experienced or want to highlight just drop us a comment and let us know and we'll see y'all next time see you guys don't forget to subscribe bye, bye.